Hey, it's Brandon from Go Hunt. Uh, just gonna run through a part of our website that um, not a lot of people are aware we have. Uh, and it's an, a huge a huge part of the site and a powerful tool that can, can help with application strategies. It's a standalone draw odd section and it's that first section if you hunt over the insider uh, button on the website, it's that first, the first big long bar at the top. And what it does is it's strictly that, it's just draw odds, just data uh, showing you your odds of drawing a particular hunt. Um, I'm gonna jump into Wyoming. We just had the Wyoming uh, elk draw for non-residents. I'm gonna jump into there and just look and see what are this play. You're gonna notice that once you go in there, I went Wyoming, non-resident, regular draw, an elk. It's gonna list uh, all the hunts that you can apply for. So your type nines, which are your archery only hunts, are gonna be listed first. Uh, then you're gonna see the, the general permit, which is, which is valid in, in various, various units across the state. And then your limited type ones, type twos down below. One neat feature about this section is this is where all our antler lists uh, draw odds are. A lot of people ask if we do you know, anything for the antler list and these are all listed at the bottom of that species section. So if you scroll down towards the bottom, uh, you're gonna notice that you can select uh, you know, full price antlerless elk, the reduced price antlerless elk, the doe antelope, antlerless moose, and cow bison. And all of those are going to be uh, available for draws as well. So if you're looking for just an opportunity type hunt, you can jump into one of those species uh, and find a hunt that you can draw 100%, go out and, and harvest some, some meat for the, the freezer. I'm gonna jump back into the, the elk here and just take a look at it. Uh, what this does is it gives you, it allows you to put in your points. So I'm going to jump in and say I've got two points. Uh, it's going to highlight that two point level across all hunts. From there you can, you can use the filter and slide. Or if you know there's a particular permit that you're after, you know, I'm, I'm going after that, you know, unit 39 type 9 or that unit 38 type 9. You can look at just that, that season and it'll give you, you know, your odds just for it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to jump into the the general permit for Wyoming and just show you a couple things that it's going to highlight and illustrate uh, on what we call the draw odds detail page. This is where we break it down and give you the odds, the applications, and we give you a five year or a four year trend for for these these odds. Uh, you're going to notice that on this table it's got your draw odds listed first uh, at two points for 2018. I had a 64 percent chance of drawing that permit. But it's like also going to show you where or how this this hunt has trended over the past few few years. So at one point, the year before last, I would have only had a 14% chance of draw, which is the random side of the the draw in Wyoming. Uh, and the year before that, 17%. Uh, so a little bit better better odds in the random side. With that, it's going to highlight and allow you to see how the how points creep will affect each in particular hunt. You're going to notice that in in 2015. Um, at one point, I had a 51% chance to draw. That jumped uh, in 2016 to a 23% chance to draw at one point. So we got a little bit, you know, it cut, cut that percentage in half. And then you're gonna notice that, that that break point that we talk about jumped a half a point um, to the less than point, less than two points category. And it continued to jump the year after that. And so what that does is that, that allows you to illustrate if you focus on the 100% section i'm going to allow you to see that trend so in 2016 100 percent was at less than two in 2017 it jumps to two points for 100 percent and in 2018 that jumps to the less than three points and so going into you know a 2019 draw or trying to plan an app you know on a strategy for 2020 or 2021 you can assume that that curve is going to stay relatively similar to to what it has been doing um, one trend that we've noticed across the west is that each state, um, they're getting more and more applications every year. And so hunting across the West is just becoming a more popular thing, which is adding to applicants in the draw pool, uh, which in turn requires more points to draw these hunts every year. So that allows you to predict or, or somewhat predict what's gonna happen in the future and adjust your strategy accordingly to that. Uh, unfortunately, points creep is a thing that happens across the West and in pretty much every state that has a point system. but. Another neat thing with these, these draw odds detail pages are the applications tables. Um, this is new for Wyoming. We're just able to get this data this year, but it allows you to see how many applicants are in each point pool. So 
In a state, say like Colorado, that is a pure preference point draw. So the, the people with the most points get the permits. You can see how many people you would be competing with at each point level. So as you build points, you can see where those, those applicants you know, fall into each point category. And it allows you to put a multi-year plan in place and say, I wanna go hunt this certain hunt in five years and I'm going to be in that max point pool in those five years. And these tables allow you to, to, to make those plans and do those things. It also gives you, you know, a list of the units that they're all valid in. Uh, if it's part of a unit group, like this general tag is, is valid in, in various units across the state. It gives you, you know, the trophy potential, the harvest for each one of those units. Uh, and the number of tags that are allocated to that permit in the, in the graphs that are on the side. But these, like I say, these, this draw odds standalone section is an incredibly powerful tool when it comes to, to app season and, and building your application strategy for each year and then putting a multi-year plan together. It allows you to plan and, and pick which hunts or which states you're going to be applying for or building points for, uh, for you know, the next, next coming seasons and, and years to follow that. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. Um, like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing and, and we'll kick out more of this content.